Hi everyone, my name's Matt Wicks. I'm the co-CEO for Innovation and Technology. I'm going to talk to you a bit about my Content Scout, which is a tool that we've developed to solve the problem that almost every organization has of how can I find stuff? Often in an organization, you've got a legacy of documents, videos, audios, images, and you just want to be able to find stuff quickly, but it takes hours, or I know I had that somewhere, but I can't find it, or I've got to talk to John because he knows where this is. My Content Scout is an AI-driven tool which we've built to try to solve this particular issue. So let's jump into the demo and see how it works. So we're going to start by looking at the core usage, which is search. So My Content Scout is designed to search your content. It's your content in your control, curated by you. It's not going off and searching the internet or anything like that. And it doesn't matter whether that content's documents, video, audio, e-learning, or images, we can take all of that content and by the clever use of AI, we can make all of it searchable for you. But again, just to reiterate, it's your content. You choose what you want to put in it, you choose how frequently it gets updated, and you choose how it's managed. You can speak to my content scout, or you can type into it. And you ask your questions, natural language, exactly how you or I would speak. Simple questions, ask it whatever you want. You can tell it what type of thing you're looking for. Am I looking for a document? Am I looking for an image? And it will go off and it will search all of your information and it will come back with an answer and links to the documents that are relevant. So here you can see we've asked the question. It's given us a nice summary in, the, in the con my Content Scout panel, which answers your question very specifically and very precisely. But also, really importantly, it shows you where it got it from. So you can always trace back to the source of that answer. Bookmarks are another little tool that we have in there. So if you found an answer that you like, you can bookmark it and you can build up your own personal list of things that you found interesting. Maybe this is a piece of advice. Maybe this is a policy that's been added to your organization. Maybe it's just an image you like, or maybe it's a document that's particularly relevant to what you're, what you're doing on an ongoing basis. So you're kind of building up your own little notepad of things. And again, it's all linked to the same centrally controlled content as well. If you want more details, you can flip over to the Documents panel and you can see the details behind the document as well and drill a bit deeper into it. Uh, so you can see here, for example, it's showing you exactly where it found the information, giving you little highlighted links to the content and snippets about where, where the information came from in the document. And then it clicks on the link and it will open up the document at exactly the right place that it's been able to find the content in. So if you've got a document of hundreds of pages, it's actually opening this up, coming through and pulling that information out and showing you exactly where it got it from. So not only can you audit the information, but also if you need to explore further or just double check that it's got the answer right, it can do that for you. All right, let's have a look at drilling down and talking to your content. I have a deep document and I want to be able to ask more detailed questions specifically to this document. The Ask Scout panel allows me to have a conversation so I can ask it questions and it will give me the answers which are specifically taken from this document or this video and so on. So if you've got a big handbook, six, 700 pages, you can drill in, you can dig deeper and you can gradually build up an understanding that's very focused on that specific piece of content as well. Let's move on to looking specifically at video and audio. So you can see here an example of somebody asking a question and we want to get back a video or an audio response. We're only interested in video audio. I know I've seen this somewhere, I just need to be reminded. And it's come back and it's given me some examples. So it's found here a number of videos and also a number of images. And the interesting thing is these images are taken from the video. It's looked at the frames of the video and it's pulled those out and analyzed those. I then look at the video and I can see more detail about it. So it picks out Okay, this is the text that basically is the best match that's found. It's the best place in the video to answer the question that I've, that I've asked in this particular case. Uh, and that's great because it's going to give me that information. But it's also, behind the scenes, generated a full transcript. So this isn't somebody writing it up and importing it or anything like that. The AI has done that for me. It's taken the spoken word in the video and generated a transcript for me. Um, so if I look at it and I play the video, it will then run through and I can see the video synchronized with that transcript, identifying the different speakers that there are if there's more than one speaker. And you can see the time codes and I can click and it will jump to the right place in the video in that particular place as well. 
or I can just automatically scroll and follow the video through as it goes as well. Now, this is all well and good if the video has got somebody speaking and it's creating a transcript, but what happens if it hasn't? Well, here you can see we pull out frames every 15 seconds or so of the frames. It pulls out and we use those as images that we analyze. So the AI creates a neat description of that video content, that frame content, which is also then searchable and I can navigate by clicking on the images. If the images or the frames have got text in, so if you're doing a recording of, say, a PowerPoint presentation, that's also pulled out and used to be made searchable. So it's a very powerful tool, automatically creating a lot of searchable curator's content from the video that you upload, and all you have to do is upload it, and my Content Scout will take care of all of the transcript creation and the rest of it as well. Let's focus now on learning materials and e-learning. So one of the problems of e-learnings in particular is that they're often buried in a huge, complicated LMS. So you might know that you did something six months, one year ago, but to go back to the LMS and search for it and find it, that's a real challenge quite often in almost every LMS. So we solve that problem by bringing the e-learnings into my content scout and we look inside the zip file that contains the LMS and we interrogate it and we understand the words and we understand the images and we understand the videos and we use those to drive the answers that you can see. So I can bring in an e-learning and it will understand everything, allow me to answer the questions using the AI in the same way, make the video searchable, the images searchable, everything searchable. And that way I can come back to something six months down the line, I can find it easily, I can remind myself of it, but if I then want to take it again and run through that whole process again, I can do that because I can launch the e-learning directly from within my content scout. Let's take a look at how images work. Now remember, these images are images that are curated and signed off by your organization. So you're not going off and getting something from Google that is then going to be uh, inappropriate for your business or not the right brand. Everything here is curated and carefully controlled. So you can then go in, you can search, you get these nice examples that you see here. And again, each one of those, the AI has generated a description to help you find and understand the context of that image. Now let's have a look at languages. Having content in multiple different languages is a real challenge because you've got to get it translated across the board or you can't find the things that you need because it's in a French document and you're an English user. My Content Scout solves that because we don't care what language the content was in originally. We search across the board. So it's basically providing a translated answer for me at the point of need, independent of the language of the source material, which saves an enormous amount of resources, enormous amount of money, enormous amount of effort to get to the same point. Now I want to talk about our cohorts feature. The cohorts is a really neat feature which allows you to push content to users. Most of the time with my content scout, users explore, they find what they want, when they want, and that's really good. But sometimes you want people to be made aware of a piece of content. Maybe it's a new policy, a new piece of content, an address from the CEO. It could be any of those things. So the cohorts panel allows you to create groups of people and then to promote content specifically to them. So maybe that group is by job role. It might be somebody who works in sales. So everybody who works in sales will get this piece of content. But it might be something else that's more specific, say a small group whose performance is being managed. So by putting them into this cohort, they can have extra content pushed to them. Remember, it's not new content, it's content that's in the system anyway, but it's content that you are targeting to those users. So when they open up my content scout, the first thing they see is the For You panel, and that content is things that are specifically directed to them. It's very easy to add three steps in terms of being able to add from an administrator perspective, and then it's live in real time for people to be able to use. Likewise, you can set up content that can be set to go live on a later date or finish, be unavailable after that date. It's really just a way of sharing the content in a more targeted way. Thank you for joining me on this demo today. I look forward to speaking to you in the future. And don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions.